Uh, hello there. Welcome to another episode of Somewhere in America. I'm your host, Will Moore. And in this episode, I take three bracketed images and texturize them in Photoshop. Last week's episode, we went to a jazz cafe called Proximity, where we had some great shots and listened to some great music right there, some great jazz music. In this episode, I am going to take the three bracketed images, take them over into Photoshop, and I'm going to show you how to texturize them to get maybe a vintage look or a painterly look, in, um, and that you can really just show off to all your friends. So join me in the studio right now. Okay, well, guys, before we get straight into the tutorial, there's a couple of things that I kind of wanted to show you all and um, that I think is pretty neat. This is actually a book that I am actually have done and I'm, I'm, so, I'm selling right now, and it's Can I Do It My Way? What you can do is that you can either go to my Facebook page, which is Wilmore Photography, uh, Facebook dot com forward slash Wilmore photography and there's also a lot of other neat things you can find on here like I have um, some tutorials um, things that uh, videos that you can come and see watch right here I have one about tips on night shooting as well as uh, how to uh, tips on how to how to do wedding photography and as other photographers as well here also you could you could go through my Facebook I mean my uh, website under books and educational materials go ahead and click on uh, the icon here blurb and can I do it my way and it'll take you right on over to this right here so that way you're ready to go and you can get your book um, in any and right now for anybody that is purchasing my book um, it'll let me know that you purchased it or if you let me know that you will receive a free print of any of your of print any of your ch of your choice at all I mean in my just go on my website, look for any print, and as I said, I think what I'm I think the older I'm getting, <laughs> I need to slow it down. But you can go and get any print, and um, choose one um, at a 16 by 20 print, and I'll go ahead and send it to you and get those things out to you. Okay, and we'll come back to that later. So now here we are in Lightroom. Let's get to the two to the tutorial here we are in Lightroom and what like I said before what I've done is that I have a metered I have an underexposed and I have an overexposed and so what I decided I'm going to go ahead and do in this is that I'm going to use one of my presets now we can do this without a preset um, and do some do some retouching uh, with the preset first and kind of get it together and go ahead and synchronize the images and then go ahead and um, we'll merge them all together but the thing that happens is that when you do that with Lightroom, a lot of times it won't take it won't go ahead and take the preset in with it. So what I'm going to do right now at this point is that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to synchronize or I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, click on all of the images, get them all together. I'm going to right click, go to photo merge and merge to HDR. And it's a little process. This box, this box will pop up, and it's going to create an HDR preview, and then it'll ask me to merge, and then we'll go from there, and we'll go ahead and add um, all of the the uh, go ahead and start retouching it, and then send it over to Photoshop, put a texture on it, bring it back, and then do some final touchings. And so while this is doing this, because it takes a while, I'm going to go ahead and pause. All right. Well, now we're back. Okay, and the. Uh, processing in Lightroom has done exactly what it was supposed to do and as you can see it brought back the raw file but it's went ahead and it combined all of our images um, to get exactly what we need okay so let's go over here to my presets and I think the preset I'm gonna use is day glass on this one day glass on this one is pretty pretty cool and it gives us this nice warm look right here now I might not want it all this warm but you, as you can see the fog has shown up and that's pretty cool so let me go ahead and maybe bring the temperature down just a little bit just a little bit right about maybe there about 4500 and let me take the give a little bit more magenta okay now the fill light this is what shows up when you use a preset um, as I told you all before and so 
let's go ahead and um, on the fill light let's bring that down a little bit makes it a little darker and um, let's bring the brightness down just a little bit give it more mood look at that mood that's showing up right there that is really gorgeous now on the clarity I could go to the right and it would do this but if I go to the left it actually gives me a little bit more fog and that's what I want right there it's a little softer but it gives me a little bit more fog in that area but now something else it does too that I might not like is that it messes with the Sun too much so I'll keep it just like that okay let's go ahead and jump on down to the lens uh, enable profile correction all right and it did nothing let's do auto and it did really nothing okay oh well did so, yep it straightened it up did something okay all right now we go down to effects if you notice the dehazing can't use any of those things so we're not going to worry about that go down to camera calibration if i go and let's do landscape um uh, landscape don't like that too much i, I kind of it takes away from the takes away from the, the mood that I have okay so at this point let me go ahead and mess with some of the colors um, let's keep the yellows there let's keep the orange there the reds there let's add a little bit more red um, there's nothing else there okay all right let's go ahead at this point I'm gonna and go ahead and start adding the texture so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go and edit in Photoshop and while that is going over in Photoshop, we'll go ahead and pause. Okay, we're in Photoshop. All right, let's go ahead and start adding our textures here. We got a nice little image here. The color is looking very, very warm. Um, let's go ahead and I said we want to make it try to make it maybe look like a little vintage look to it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that particular uh, texture right there. It's got the vintage look to it. Um, forgive me everybody my computer is kind of lagging a little bit and but we'll go ahead and put that over there and then up there where this check mark is go ahead and check and now go ahead and check it right there then come up here to your blending modes and I always do overlay and look at that already is giving you that canvas kind of very very vintage look now you might not want that look all over the place so I'm gonna add a mask and I'm gonna hit B for brush and uh, I'm going to go to the brackets and maybe enlarge my brush and I'll make sure my flow is down to about maybe 14 because I don't want a whole lot of flow and I might not want it everywhere so let's go ahead and pick up here certain places maybe some place in the road just a little bit not just a few places not everywhere and I like what it's doing down here so I don't want to mess with too much of it okay alright let me let's add another little texture and let me go in here to my little folder and uh, let's, let's, let's scroll down a little bit and let's add the ancient stucco alright and that right there will give us a nice that'll give us some nice little stucco look alright let's go ahead and grab that grab this like this and hit that and go to blending modes okay now it's giving us a few little lines here which I like right there that's, that's, a, that's a pretty cool look let me go ahead and bring this over just a little bit bring this over just a little bit right there okay all right I'm liking that I'm liking that right there let's go ahead and add a mask to this and I'm gonna be for brush and I'm gonna pick up around the Sun because I'm gonna do some things to this in Lightroom again and try to bring back some of the goldenness in that area of the Sun okay I'm liking what I'm seeing let's pick up some areas right here Wow this is looking really really beautiful and if I wanted to duplicate that it would give me just a few more lines let's bring the feel down a little bit let's bring the opacity down a little bit let's grab one more texture uh, we're just having fun grab one more texture one more texture and let's look for something that has more of a more of a crackle feel 
Alrighty, and uh, okay, let's go. Let's go with the tan crackle here. Let's just do this one, and let's let's shift that around. When you come up, when you take your cursor and you come up to the arrow here, I hope this is showing up because I know my computer's been kind of wigging out a little bit. You'll see that it has this little. The arrow turns into this little curvature arrow, and that's so that you can go ahead and start to rotate. Or if you didn't want to do that, and you're really good, you can go up here where you see the H and the W and the Y, and then you can and then you can mess with those, and that'll do it as well. Let's hit Enter, or we can hit the check up there, and let's go here to our overlay again. And look, it's giving us a more vintage look right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and bring down the feel a little bit, bring down the opacity. Got a little more feel there. Got a little more, uh, a little more vintage there. Let's go ahead and do this. And I don't want it too much. All right, don't want it too much because I don't want to lose all of my photograph in this. All right, and that's cool. Let's go ahead and bring this feel down on this one a little bit too, and the opacity. Oh, perfect. There we go. Bring the opacity down just a little bit. Okay, that's looking really good right here. Now I'll go ahead and flatten all this, and I'm going to send them right back over to Lightroom. And we'll finish up in Lightroom. All righty. We're back now. Oh, well, so, oh, something happened here. I'm sorry about that, guys. All right. We're, okay, we're now back now in Lightroom. It, I clicked it. It was in Lightroom, and then it went over to Photoshop real quick. Oh, well. Anyway, we're back in Lightroom. So let's go ahead and do some final touches. Final touches on this. I'm going to maybe add a little bit of more, a little bit more contrast, and um, maybe bring the temperature down just a little bit, not too much. Give it a nice little rustic vintage look. And um, on the clarity, let's go to, to the left on the clarity. Give it a little bit more fog. I like that. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and maybe up here. And I'm going to hold down the shift. I'm going to grab a radial tool and I'm going to go ahead and do this. All right. And bring it right where the sun is. And I'm going to go ahead under temperature. And bring back the sun a little bit. There you go. Just enough right there. Let's go ahead and hold down shift and make it a little bit bigger. All righty. And then I'm going to duplicate that. You guys know what I'm doing, don't you? And I'm going to come and click off the invert mask. and See how that brightened up over there? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the exposure down just a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. And uh, let's go. Let's get off of it. Let's get on exposure. All right. I'm sorry. Because if, if you stay on temperature, it'll make the temperature the same here, out here. I don't want that. So I'm going to go with exposure here. And a little contrast. And let's bring that temperature, maybe a little more blue, to give it a little more contrast. And I like what I am seeing. Let's hit done. And let's do a little, a little cropping, a little, make it a little more panoramic. And bring that down just a little bit here. Don't want to lose all that beautiful tree right there. And we'll hit done. And let's do some post crop vignetting. And let's go to effects just a little bit. Just a little bit right there. Okay. And let's do the dehaze. We can do dehaze now, a little bit on this now. So that fog back there will show up real good. All right. Hey. That's it right there. I hope you all enjoyed that particular one right there. We got a few more that I took that day um, that I'll go ahead and show you at the end of this uh, tutorial and podcast. So that's it for me. Um, hope you all enjoyed that. Now, back to me. I hope you all enjoyed that segment of Somewhere in America. I enjoyed doing that landscape with the texturing, and I hope you really learned something. Join me again on next week for another exciting episode of Somewhere in America where you don't know where I'll be at in the country. I tell you, I'm looking forward to the next couple of episodes. They're going to be exciting. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also pick up my latest book, 
Can I do it my way? I deal with a lot of issues of art and photography in that book that I think you'll like and I think you'll enjoy. Until next week, remember, as I always say, God bless. If you can't say anything nice, stick a shoe in your mouth and keep it moving. Bye-bye. episode of somewhere in america my host i'm your host <laughs> hey guys this is will Moore again and i hope you enjoyed this last segment it's not the last segment why would i say <laughs> last segment hey guys this is will Moore. i hope you enjoyed this <laughs> you already know who i am because i told you i was in the beginning of the segment <laughs> <laughs>